when you click on file you can go to export and you can export your report as a power bi pdf so i'm just going to click on export to pdf of course if you don't want to go through file and export you can just press ctrl p on your keyboard like you want to print out and this is going to generate pdf of all your reports pages for you once it's done you should be able to open the pdf by selecting any application that you can use to view pdf files and this is our report on pdf i can scroll down and see all the pages of reports and from here i should be able to click on file and save my pdf so you can save this pdf somewhere now the other way to actually share your report is by first publishing your reports to the power bi service where you are going to need to use a power bi account and before you do that you want to make sure that you are signed into your power bi account so i'm going to come here to click sign in and i will try to sign into my power bi account i put in my email ahmed teach at foresightbi22.onmicrosoft.com and i'm going to click continue i'll provide my password sign in so once you are in you are going to see your username somewhere at the top here then i can click on save one more time then from the home tab i'm going to click publish so usually within the power bi service there are always two types of workspaces you will have your own workspaces which is i mean your own workspace which is called my workspace and then you can have group workspaces in the event you are deploying to your organization's account so i'm just going to select my workspace and i'm going to select this and wait for my reports to publish once i get the success message i can use this link to go to view the report directly or i can just go and log into my power bi account from my browser so when you sign into your power bi account this is most likely what you will see on the left hand side you have different navigation panels we are just going to go to my workspace right now since that is where i publish my reports so my workspace i'm going to see different um, reports that i have published uh this contains everything i have published i'm interested in going to the contents and i'm going to click on report which is the one i just published right now so when i click on report to open it this is what the report looks like in the power bi service i can go from one page to the next page i can use my slicers to slice and dice my reports and if i like i can come over here to this rectangle when i click on the drop down on the rectangle i can decide to go to full screen mode and from here i can use this drop down at the bottom of the page to change the pages so i can go to my advanced analysis page for example i will see my advanced analysis visuals right here i'm going to come here to click on ask your own question this time i don't have to hold down control key because i have published the report so when i click on ask your own question i'm going to see my q and a box i can go into the q and a box and i'm going to type which region had the bad spelling had the highest revenue in the year now you know we have two types of dates and two types of years we have other year and we have other dates. so i'm going to select the other year of course i have to remove this one so in the other year um 2016 and i'm going to see the results right there the western region now if i want to go back or i want to leave the full screen mode i can come to click on these arrows that are facing one another that takes me back to the default power bi service view if i want to share my reports with someone then i can click on share here now this share is going to be going to somebody within my organization that is using the same type of email that i am using which is currently at foresightbi22.onmicrosoft.com however if i would like to generate a public link for people to be able to view this report then i'm going to come to click on file then i'm going to go to embed and i'm going to select publish to web so when i select publish to web it's going to give me some warning that admin has to enable this that's the default setting in power bi you will not be able to generate a web link for your power bi report by default except your admin in the organization that's the power bi admin your organization has enabled publishing to web 
that is where your Microsoft 365 developer account becomes useful here because if you have generated a Microsoft 365 developer email, then you are your own admin. And what you will do then is you will come over here to the ellipses at the top right hand side. You click on the ellipses, which is the settings. Then you go to settings and then you are going to go to admin portal. So when you click on admin portal under the tenant settings you will scroll down to where you have published to web when you expand publish to web it has to be enabled for the entire organization enabled then you also want to make sure that you have allow existing and new codes here which i currently do not have then i'm going to click on apply it should take a couple of means for it to be able to be applied and from here i can go back to my workspace go back to my report and when i come back to file and I go to embed reports, publish to web. I can select create embed code. Of course, it comes with a warning that really doesn't matter now because I'm using a sample data set. So I can create my embed code. I'm going to click on publish and I can copy this code out. Whoever has access to this code will be able to visualize my report. So let me take that to a new browser page. I'm going to paste that code there and I'll press enter. And that's it. From here, we can also go to full screen mode from this bottom right hand side. I can change my reports pages from page one through to page two. And then you can also see here that apart from the Power BI desktop, I'm still going to need to enable map and field map visual in my Power BI service through the admin. But testing further, you see that if I hover on my top 10 states, I'm going to see my reports page tooltip. If I go to my page one, I can right click on any month October. I can select drill through and I will go to locations report drill through page. Of course, the map doesn't show. I can use this back button to go back without having to hold control. So now let's go and fix the issue of the map from admin portal. So back to my web page here. I'm going to come back here to my settings. I will go to settings and I will go to admin portal. Still under tenant settings. If you scroll down under the group of integration settings, you are going to see map and field map visual. So we are going to expand that and we are going to toggle to enabled. Then we have to scroll down and we have to click apply. Once you put that up, go straight into the embed code tab. Then you are going to see the code you created earlier. Click on the ellipses and then you have to make sure that you delete that code. Then you go back to my workspaces and you create a new code.